welcome back to WWE 2K23, my rise, the legacy. I am your host, Attack Slug, hopefully finishing poor lighting week here and being back to regular next week. No promises, though, and we're here to forward this story, finally, with Bailey. Ding dong. Hello. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. And who was the other half? Who was the other half? Was she money? What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? That sounds very confusing to have a tag team money in the bank, but sure. They've done tag team matches in the chamber, so why not money in the bank? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Maybe. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. But who is my tag team partner? More money, more bank. Why oh why are we going to LA for the Law Arena? You wanted to talk to me? I heard the rumors and I want to be in the tag team money in the bank ladder match. Tag team? Money in the bank? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. It's already the worst kept secret in WWE. But did I miss something? Are you in a tag team now? No, but since when was that a barrier to entry? Seems like WWE's whole deal is putting teammates together at the last minute for matches. Not all of them even like each other. <laughs> Touche. All right, I can get you an opportunity. Yes! To qualify. Ah! And don't think I'm going to play tag team matchmaker. Most of the women on the roster are looking for a partner to swipe right on so that they can win the briefcase and challenge Asuka and Tamina for the titles. I don't have time for it. Find a partner and I'll get you in the qualifying match. I like the Mighty Molly stuff in the background, but also your tag chance for Asuka and Tamina? What a weird random tag team. Can do! Now that, I can do. Thanks. Just make the most of it. Winning the tag championships would be no small accomplishment. Where is Daisy? Hi, I'm Daisy. Give me that Mario Kart double dash business. All right, so live, laugh, love, fanny fan, Natalia, the boat. Let's talk to Natty. Pause out, claws out. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. Did they have it in Canada? <laughs> you have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around WWE so long that I'm not thrown by anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone would be lucky to team with me. Speaking of, do you have a partner? Not yet, but I'm looking. No, but I'm looking for one. Interesting, because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do, winning the tag team titles not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash, a former and future champion with an up and coming legacy superstar. And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. You are the boat indeed. So yes, experience is important. I hear you, experience is important. Teaches you what to expect in the ring and what to avoid. I knew you'd get it. And I'm happy to share it all with you if you decide you want to give our partnership a go. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand. Yes, all of your Guinness World Records, I get it, I know. So I gotta talk to all of them first and then choose? I guess I do, because I can't go anywhere else. So yes, fanny fan and then live and then make the choice, I guess. This is all so exciting! A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up! Chill out. 
It's an opportunity, Fanny, not the second coming. Chill out a little. Chill out? I'm sorry if my raw ambition spoils my street cred. This is an incredible opportunity. I don't care if I'm still on NXT. I'm taking my shot. Mom spaghetti. All right. You're right. It is pretty cool. You have a partner? No, but I'm looking. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly, I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place. Wanting it so badly. I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I need a more relaxed partner who's not wearing really cringy Stone Cold shirts. Ambition is important, but when it's unbridled, it can make you messy and get in the way. I need a more relaxed partner. Really? I always thought you were pretty ambitious yourself. I heard they asked you to wear your aunt's gear for Survivor Series, but you decided to make your debut on your own terms. That took guts. I respect that. If you're looking for a partner, I'd love to team up. I'll get back to you. Yes, and then talk to Liv Morgan and then make my choice in my tag team partner. Partner? I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm interested too. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own. I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing backup to someone else in my previous tag teams. Or squad, if you will. Our situations live are a little bit different. My family's legacy is not the same as feeling that way about your tag team partners. I didn't say it was the same. I just mean I might understand a little bit about where you're coming from. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, I'd be interested. Let me know. And now I guess I make the choice. How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah... I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. So, who was the Sean and who was the Marty, is the question. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. What I really want is a cup of coffee, yeah! I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. Oh? It's going to be the boat, Natalia. I want to tag with someone with a proven track record and experience that can make me even better. I've made my decision. I'm asking Natalia to be my tag partner. She's the boat. Interesting choice. I'll set you up for the first qualifying match tonight. And what that says to me is going to be a bunch of tag team matches, unfortunately. So entrance tonight, qualifying... And we're facing Josie J eh, and Sonya Deville. But more importantly, do we get a tag team entrance? And if not, where is two paws? Those are the only questions I have here on this fine Friday. And the answer is no tag team entrance. I don't know why. Like, you think they put it in there. Even with that weird, generic, happy-go-lucky face, like standard tag team entrance. It's fine. Like, I'm not mad at it. But man, uh, just doing the solo dolo is a little bit annoying to a degree, but hey, 
You can't go wrong with the best of all time, the Guinness record holding Natalia. One of the final trainees in the heart dungeon. You definitely can't go wrong there. So, Natty by nature, get in the ring. And first up, we have Sonya. Put your hair up and square up with DeVille. Evil, 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 get to the ring. And her tag team partner going to be the, I think, Canadian Josie Jane. Yes, it is. Making her return to this series once again. So, yes. And you know she's Canadian because her Twitter handle ends in eh. So, that's pretty funny. I appreciate that detail in your a video game. So, that being said, it's still annoying. Annoying for tag team business. I don't really appreciate that and the just mixed martial arts stylings of Sonya here out the gate is a bit of a problem but my DDT stylings and again it's the end of the week here so next week moves at Monday because you know how it goes here on this show or as long as this show keeps going it goes so don't get used to it it's a week and then we change things up to keep things fresh on this as we continue our winning ways and hopefully make it through Yet another my rise, my career, my whatever type mode in this business. Long time fans will know I didn't finish last year's women's uh, my rise. Because quite frankly, y'all weren't watching it. So this, this year I'm going to try. I'm not going to get a guarantee. I'm going to try. I actually finished it this year. I, I've heard it's good. So I want to finish it. So there is that. And Cyclone Bomb with that. We need to taunt here. And hopefully no tag. Hopefully no tag. That's a long taunt. That got me. Sometimes the taunts get you because they're too long. And I don't appreciate that. And just stumbling and bumbling. Nah, what's the button to get the button? Because it's not what I wanted to hit. And man, just multiple gut punches. Taking the wind out of her sails, if you will. As it Josie Daniel watches on. And Sonya with the clubbing four onto the back. Finally. Peach has got it. Peach is going to get into the submission maneuver because generally that's how you win these tag team encounters. Because it brings in the tag team partners and they get into their own business and it prevents the tag, hopefully, from happening. So that's kind of a key part to wear down your opponent. And no, 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 no. That's a problem. That's a problem, Josie Jane. I did the work here on Sonya, and I don't want you in the ring with that. So we tag in the boat, and then we immediately say, hey, guess what? Just, well, we get kicked in the gut, and then we get a clothesline. And then we say, hey, guess what? How about you head into your corner and tag back in Sonya? I'd appreciate that, because if not... We're going to have some submission business from Natalia, who certainly knows her way around some submissions, thanks to her Uncle Brett. Okay, that's awkward. Explode around to the corner. Tagging in Sonya, who now has less damage than Josie Jane, and they're trying to... The hot tag! Oh, come on, man. I hit L1, and it said, nah, you ain't hitting L1. That ain't happening today. Unfortunate. Sonya, kick to the mush. That's rough. And the boat here, getting some damage, but not nearly enough. I need Peach back in the ring, but first I need to hit my freaking signature, which I'm not sure what hers is. So, ah, the discus clothesline is good. And we put in some more damage here with the sharpshooter. I learned it from my Uncle Brett. Peach, help me out here. Peach, help me out here. Peach, help me out here. And she didn't help me out here. But what I can do is hopefully a double team maneuver in the corner. And yes, Cole called it a Michinoku driver. So thank you, Michael Cole. Of course, he calls that, he, he calls a lot of things that. So not necessarily the right move call from Cole, but yeah. Okay, Alabama slamma and a pin falla and a kick out. Yes, you ain't beating the boat like that. Nah. I wanted the double team maneuver in the corner. 
There we go. Bring her in. Uh, I hit double team. Okay, is it the... What's happening here? I had it all planned out, and you didn't do it right. Powerbomb, Liger Bomb, Referee, and a 2K. Because now, I need Peach in here with her signature to do one of those side Russian leg sweep. Because otherwise, dirty pin. I didn't get it. I, okay. Peach, get back to the corner. Please. Please. We must plant DeVille down onto the mat. German suplex. And then tag. And th don't you crawl for a hot tag. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Wait, where happened my signature? Where'd it go? I had it. I seen it in the meter. What happened? Lame. Lame. Super lame. No. You ain't tagging in. Uh-uh. Not happening, Sonya. You got finisher. All this. Real bad. Leg lock. On Sonya. And you tap. That's it. We win. And we advance and qualify. No, you. No, you. You're the boat. No, you're the boat. Okay. We're both a couple of boats floating down that river. But don't go chasing waterfalls. Well, this pair certainly has something to celebrate. Qualifying for the first ever tag team Money in the Bank match. It was a huge win in their... What was that? Clingy pole. Someone said help! Oh my god! What's that she's under? A, a fallen lighting rig? Help! How does this kind of accident even happen? Help. Do you really think this is just an accident, Corey? Well, what else could it be? This tag team's too new to have enemies. Oh, we hope she's okay. We'll keep you updated on this developing situation. Uh, uh, just, hold on. Oh. Shades of Roman Reigns having a thing fall on him backstage a couple years ago, and they blamed it on Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan, and that whole thing didn't pay off great, but it was a good mystery. Can't wait to get this space back. Ready? One, two, three, lift! Why is this so heavy? <sighs> that good? Nah, we gotta get it closer for pickup. Honestly, I'm just glad that you weren't the one who got hurt. Can you imagine? Taken out by a lighting rig. No, luckily recovery's only a few weeks. Too late to help me for the tag team Money in the Bank match, though. Even a small injury can mess with your head. Believe me, I know. Did they ever figure out how that thing fell? Unclear. Seems like dumb bad luck. For me, too. Finally figured out who to partner with, and now they're not even cleared to compete. Such a bummer. We were just getting started together. You know, I always loved watching the tag matches the most when I was on the road with you. And those tapes of you and Molly tagging together weren't bad either. Ah, yes, your new best friend, Molly. She's not my best friend. Don't you want me to be on good terms with management? Fine, you're right. Lift. I think those championships are so aspirational for me because WWE finally has them. After the women's titles were introduced in 2018, tag matches started to seem even more important. Ow! Excuse me? What did I do? No shade to the current generation, but I grew up watching women compete on TV in tag team championship matches. You did? I have clearly failed to teach you proper wrestling history. Yes! Did you think I grew up in a vacuum and one day said, I think I'll become a professional lady wrestler? No! I watched and was inspired just like you. For me, it was seeing the main event women's championship match at the brawl to end it all in 84 that gave me the bug. But the tag champions back then were formidable too. I would have loved to see the superstars of today defend against some of the women I grew up idolizing on TV. So what happened to the titles? I don't know. Appetites changed. Management started putting their attention elsewhere and opportunities dried up. The championships, and a lot of the women themselves for that matter, got pushed aside. You did your stint in catering. You know what it's like. Yeah, not the best when you're fighting for limited opportunities. <laughs> you have way more opportunities than I ever did. If I had the chance to accomplish what you can... You accomplish plenty. Take even the current tag titles. Like you said, 
I never even had a chance to compete for a tag team championship when I was in WWE. They weren't a thing then. In fact, I heard you're in need of a partner. What do you say? Can you imagine? You and me standing as champions at WrestleMania? The Mysterios can't have a lock on this family thing. <laughs> Very funny. Like you could get in the ring again. Did I tell you that Molly said I can't even pick my own replacement partner? Oh? Your best friend isn't letting you call the shots? Oh, shush. No, everyone's clamoring to team up with me since I've already secured the money in the bank opportunity. So they're having a fatal four-way on Raw to decide. Interesting method. You know, on second thought, maybe I want to keep this desk. So many memories. Justine! Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three! <laughs> That was a lot of exposition for a little bit of information there. But hey, these things happen. Following a highly contested Fatal 4-Way on Raw, Princess Peach's partner has been decided it's Ava Moreno. Because of course it is, because that's how wrestling works. Ugh. Alright, how will they coexist? We're going to find out next week on the show. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. Hopefully the return of pr proper lighting next week. We'll see. And I'll see you next time on this channel. And I'm out.